Hi there, Mr. Holcomb here again with another episode of The Path Behind the Modules. This is Lesson 8, Applying the Properties of Operations to Add and Subtract Rational Numbers. <laughs> Example 1. The opposite of a sum is the sum of its opposites. Mm. So what does that mean? So let's use a math example to see what the opposite of a sum and sum of its opposites really means. So let's just pick a number. And a rational number, uh, let's just choose a value 7. And another rational number, negative 2. And then add them. 7 plus a negative 2 it is 5. The opposite of the sum What's the opposite of 5? Negative 5. Okay. The opposite of a sum. So that's the opposite of this sum. It is the sum of its opposites. Well, what's opposite 7? Negative 7. What's opposite negative 2? Positive 2. The sum of negative 7 plus 2 is negative 5. So the opposite of a sum is the sum of its opposites. Exercise 1. Represent the following expression with a single rational number. Okay, there's a couple of ways we can do this. We can find common denominators. What will 5, 4, and 5 go into? 20. So I can change negative 2 and 2 fifths to negative 2 and something over 20. So 5 times 4 is 20, so 4 times 2 is 8. So negative 2 over 8, 20 is the same as that. Plus 3 and something over 20. 4 times 5 is 20. 5 times 1 is 5. Minus 3 fifths, but I don't want fifths, I want 20 5 times 4 is 20. 3 times 4 is 12. So step 1 is convert those to like denominators. Okay? And then we can make mixed fractions improper. So 20 times a negative 2 is a negative 40. And then 8 is a negative 48 over 20. So disregard the negative sign until you're done. 20 times 2 plus 8 and then make it that negative. 20 times 3 is 60, plus 5 is 65, so it's plus 65 over 20, minus 12 over 20. Okay, so negative 48 plus 65 is negative 17, I'm sorry, 17, positive 17 over 20, minus 12 over 20, and that is going to equal 5 over 20 equals reduced. Okay. The other way we can do this is use the commutative property and rearrange some things. So if we take negative 2, 2 fifths plus 3 and a quarter plus a negative 3 fifths. Okay, we're going to change it all to addition. And then I move this over and put the fifths together. So it'll be negative two and two fifths plus negative three fifths plus three and a quarter. So all I did was rearrange these two here. We took each other's place. We can do that in addition. And that's going to give us negative two and two fifths plus a negative three fifths is negative two rid of this. And 5 fifths plus 3 and a quarter. Negative 2 and 5 fifths, well that's a 1. So that's negative 3 plus 3 and a quarter. And we get 
Okay. If this confuses you, do this. If this confuses you, do this. If you're not confused either way, try doing it both ways each time to get better practice. Example two. A mixed number is a sum. Use the number line model shown below to explain and write the opposite of two and two fifths as a sum of two rational numbers. Okay, the opposite of a sum, top single arrow pointing left, top single arrow pointing left, and the sum of the opposite correspond to the same point on the number line. So what they're saying is negative two, two fifths this way and two and two fifths this way, this red arrow is the same length as this black arrow. Distances are equal, just go in opposite directions. Okay. So the opposite of a sum, top single arrow pointing left, and the sum of the opposites correspond to the same point. Sum of the opposites, two plus two fifths. So the opposite Two and two fifths is negative two and two fifths. Negative two and two fifths written as a sum of two rational numbers. Negative two plus negative two fifths. Exercise two. Rewrite each mixed number as the number of two signed numbers. sum of two sign numbers. So we can take the whole number and we can take the fraction and write them as a sum. But remember that if the whole thing is negative, both pieces have to be negative. So we'd have negative nine plus negative five eighths. Now I'm going to stop and I'm going to finish. Last two examples on your own, back to the solution. Okay, now that you've done these, then what we should have gotten in this one is take the integer portion, negative 2, make it an addition problem, and that is a plus a negative 1 half. And then in this one here, it's positive 8 plus a positive 11 twelfths. Okay, represent each sum as a mixed number. So now we have an integer or a whole number now it's an integer so whole number is negative we have an integer and a rational number we're going to add them and get a mixed number so negative one plus a negative five twelfths since they're both negative my answer is going to be negative so i'm going to add them and keep the sum one and five twelfths negative one and five twelfths 30 plus an eight is simply 30 and one eighth and negative 17 plus a negative 1 ninth makes the number negative 17 and 1 Okay. Exercise 4. Mr. Mitchell lost 10 pounds over the summer by jogging each week. By winter, he had gained 5 and 1 eighth pounds. Represent this situation with an expression involving signed numbers. What is the overall change in Mr. Mitchell's weight? Try this, pause the video, come back. Okay, now that you've done that, let's take a look. So he lost 10 pounds, which is a negative 10. So you take his weight, minus 10. But then he gained back 5 and 1 8 pounds. So I'm going to add 5 and 1 8 to negative 10. Split this up, so I'm going to say negative 10 plus 5 plus an 8. 
and then I'm going to combine my, my whole numbers, let me rephrase that, my integers, negative 10 plus 5 is negative 5, plus an 8, okay. negative 5 plus 1 8 is negative 4, and 7 8. So this weight dropped. Or decreased four and seven eighths. Then gain it all back. Exercise five. After model is completing a math problem, it represents the expression negative five and five sevenths plus eight minus three and two sevenths. Write a single rational number as shown in the steps below. Justify each of his steps, then show another way to solve the problem. So what happened here? From here to here, what happened? Step one. Negative five and seven eighths didn't change. The eight went over here. The negative three and two sevenths was here. This is the commutative property. of addition. Next step, going from here to here, we split up the negative 5 and the negative 5 sevenths, we split up the negative 3 and the negative 2 sevenths, and 8 just stayed as it is because it was a whole, a whole number by itself. say that. Subtracting a number is the same as adding its inverse. So subtracting that is the same as adding its inverse plus negative. Sure, I like that. Anyhow, what we have done here is just simply split up the whole number and the fraction. Okay? Separate. going to rearrange all of our integers. Actually, we added add fractions. Negative 5 sevenths plus a negative 2 sevenths is negative 7 sevenths, which is negative 1. here was added negative 5 and negative 1 to get negative 6. The negative 3 is the same, 8 is the same. And then from here we added these. We're just working left to right. Negative 6 minus 3 plus negative 3 is negative 9. And then finally negative 9 plus 8 is negative So what you need to see here is what happened that's important is the rearranging and getting the fractions together and getting the integer over here by itself and then splitting up the fractions like so and this one here. Get the fraction part away from the whole number, rearrange, the, rearrange everything so that the fractions are together, combine the fractions, make them an integer if possible. And then work left to right. Okay, that is the end of lesson eight. Do your exit ticket. Go home, do your homework, do your problem set.